That won't do it all. I really ought to cut that sycamore tree down, I guess. It won't fit dropping limbs, so it's probably gonna drop itself right in the middle of everything here one of these days. But anyway, we're out here kicking over some windrows, hoping we're gonna get something out of this. A little bit of hay that got rained on. Uh, don't look like it got rained on a whole, whole lot anyway. Not a whole, whole lot. Still pretty nice underneath. Still needs another day to cure though. So anyway, that is what I am doing today.
Could have said something. I almost forgot you were back there. So all those are rolled over, bumped over, fluffed up, whatever you want to call it, which is good. Uh, I don't see any evidence of mold or anything turning black yet, so it should turn out all right. <clears throat> anyway, main reason why I just wanted to get that off of there is because I want to have a clear contact area for spraying Roundup on that field. Um, I got that one to spray, this one over here, and then the one over there. I'm gonna spray those two with Roundup because they're getting pretty bad with Johnson grass. So, uh, everything kind of goes the right way. We might do that Wednesday. If everything goes the right way, we might do that Wednesday. If not, well, it'll be another day, but anyway, it's gonna get done. So, we're gonna spray that field there, like I said, get that done. And then I'm in a debate right now as to whether, because one application or two applications around up and then seeding this down 
is not going to kill the Johnson grass. Um, it just won't. It'll thin it out. It'll push it back. It'll it'll probably make it look respectable, really, the first year, and then the next year, well, it'll be back, and it'll keep getting worse and worse and worse. So, um, they make Roundup Ready Alfalfa, which is, it, it'd be a really good idea because uh, Roundup works extremely well on uh, Johnson grass, and then you could put, um, oh, what is it, 240B in with it, and that would uh, take care of the other broadleaf weeds that we're going to have because, well, we're going to have broadleaf weeds too. And that would uh, take care of it all, more or less. The uh, Johnson grass is the big thing, though, because, you know, if I was to seed it down to just a grass hay crop, and there's nothing I could do with the Johnson grass. If I put down a mixed hay crop, with the Roundup Ready Alfalfa, there's nothing I can do with the Johnson grass. Um, so, kind of trying to get over the sticker shock of the initial cost of $475 for a 50 pound bag of alfalfa seed, which would be, that's two acres worth, which I'm gonna guesstimate that's three. I, I, I would I would seed it down kind of heavy just because but uh, you know and then there's debate of what I you would you do an annual ryegrass for a cover crop or just do winter wheat or you know whatever um, yeah basically if you got any uh, input on the roundup ready alfalfa is it worth it is it not worth it um, and what other options do I have, more or less? Drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to go park this tractor and go find some air conditioning. If you couldn't tell, it warmed up again by the drops coming off the end of my nose. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for watching. We'll be back. And uh, I'm going to bail that tomorrow. And then uh, pick it up. Probably just load it on my little trailer there and get it backed in the barn and called that good and then uh, I need to fix the handle on my walking wheel because little destructo boy broke it but anyway that's all for now